Well, the Lakefront Festival Grounds is a place to celebrate different cultures and try great food. Yeah, but in a couple of weeks, it will also be the finish line for a very important event that helps people who often go hungry every day. Joining us now are brother David Schwab and father Perry McDonald to talk about the Capuchin Run Walk for the Hungry to German Fest. Thanks for being here, guys. Well, thanks Appreciate for inviting us. To have you. Yeah. Always you. nice to have you gentlemen here. Let's talk a little bit about the fact this is your eighth year doing this event. You're an avid runner and cyclist, so you really enjoy doing events like this in the community? Yes, uh, we started eight years ago through the invitation of German Fest to, to put on this run walk and uh, it's, we grew from a modest 370 that first year to uh, 2600 last year so we're really pleased with the growth and the support of the community over those eight years. You're mm -hmm. hoping to hit 3,000 I know this year which is really exciting and one of the things um, that I've noticed from participating in any type of run walk no matter what the, the length of the course is um, and, and I'm not a super competitive runner but I think runners appreciate a good course something that, that that's really nicely mapped out for them and I know that you participate in a way that helps put together some great events because you take that into to consideration as you map out the course. Well, that's very true. We have a, a chip-timed and certified course, so we, we really want to uh, make it as professional as possible for the serious runners. Uh, and, of course, to balance that, we also have a two-mile walk on, on lovely Lakeshore State Park. So uh, for those who prefer to stroll or walk the dog or bring a carriage or something, uh, there's that aspect of it also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a great event that not only is something that gets us active, gets us down to German Fest, gets us some, you know, coupons for food and for drink at, at German Fest, but also it truly helps feed those who often go hungry in our own community. How, talk a little bit about the poverty and what some of the proceeds of this event go to. Well, as you all know, there is a, a real struggle going on in the Milwaukee community with people who are unemployed, who are food insecure, as they say, unsure of where the next meal is going to come from or whether or not they got money for groceries. So that's been actually growing uh, in Milwaukee, sad to say. And even now, I guess they say at least 48% uh, of all the people that the House of Peace serves in our three zip codes, they're unemployed. Mm. So you can imagine people having financial responsibilities and obligations and yet having to balance where that money goes. And many of them can't get through the month without needing some groceries at the House of Peace that we administer or come to a meal that uh, they hold at St. Ben's. So this poverty issue is really a astounding sort of thing for Milwaukee and, and really not something we need to be proud of, but mm -mm. there are so many people who are trying to help, which is remarkable. And I think both of us want to thank people who have been generous to us in the past and who are helping us now through participating in the Capuchin Run Walk for the Hungry. It's a wonderful group of people who are supportive. Well, and mm -hmm. especially during the summer months, um, you know, during the school year, we think about many kids getting a hot meal or some type of meal at school, but in the summer months when they're home or out and about, those meals are not, you know, they're not something that they can count on. So I think it's particularly important. We always think about it around the holidays, but yes. to be mindful of particularly children in the summer. Um, this, this, the number of participants in this event is important mm -hmm. because you have somebody in the community who's actually doing something per participant, right? That's a, a bit of beautiful relationship from year one is a, a partnership with using their sausage and for every participant that we get. So if we get 3,000, that's a, a ton and a half of product that will go directly to uh, folks in need. So yes, it's it's a wonderful... Some protein. Tribute. Some protein. <laughs> right? That's yeah. fair to say about using a lot of people. Which right. is fantastic. Mm -hmm. So this is coming up. We want to give people information because as you mentioned, this is for competitive runners. Uh, but also if you'd like to take a two-mile stroll, you can find out more about that. The Capuchins Run Walk for the Hungry is happening Thursday, July 25th at 5 p.m. is registration at the North Gate of Summerfest Grounds. And then it actually begins at 7 p.m. Correct. And there's a, <laughs> excuse me, a website there in the bottom um, so that you can go and find more information and register as well. Thanks to both of Thanks you so gentlemen. much for being here. Oh, it's a big success. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Come and run.